Hi guys, uh, this is Hector. Today is Tuesday, the 13th of uh, November 2007. Um, today I've actually been having quite a quite a hard time finding decent uh, trading setups, uh, despite the fact that I was seeing plenty of uh, of trending scenarios from an intraday point of view. Um, uh, 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 in the longer time frames, in the respective long-term charts, uh, either the daily or the weekly, uh, I was sort of spotting uh, also conflicting signals. All right, um, I've seen plenty, like I said, plenty of trending scenarios uh, for, for uh, in the hourly, in the four hours time frame. Uh, on many currency pairs actually uh, but as you know uh, before considering any entry I always like to have a look at what's panning out on the longer time frames on the uh, on the daily on the weekly um, just in case uh, you know um, there are some uh, some uh, conflicting signals okay some contradictory bias uh, coming from the longer time frames um, and, and that's been the case today like I say I was spotting plenty of, of setups that I, I I just you know I had to ditch okay I I, I put them basically um, I couldn't possibly try them because on the longer time frames uh, well you know things were not looking that good anymore um, for example uh, if we uh, if we uh, have a look at the uh, USD against the uh, CHF which is the uh, the uh, chart you're seeing right now in my in my live screen. Um, uh, yeah, you can clearly see that we are in a beautiful downtrend, all right. Uh, all those moving averages nicely pointing down, uh, parallel to each other, etc., etc. So you know, today I was thinking, all right, perhaps I could try uh, the breakout of this. Uh, let me zoom in once again so you can see that properly. One second. All right. So I was thinking, perhaps in this law, in this uh, downtrend, uh, I'm spotting this uh, um, this uh, flag formation. Okay very clear retracement channel and yeah, perhaps I could try the uh, breakout to the downside um, however uh, if we zoom into the uh, monthly charts okay uh, into the very very long-term charts okay and I zoom out I can clearly see that we are forming some sort of triple bottom at precisely uh, where price is uh, is sitting right now okay uh, I'm talking about the uh, 112 one uh, uh, the 112 double 112 50 all right 113 even that area is worked as support uh, in the long term uh, in the long term charts in this case on the monthly chart okay uh, it is worked as support already twice okay have a look here and then have a look here again and now we've just reached this area once again okay so uh, it seems like the 112 double like I said 112 uh, 113 somewhere around there uh, it seems like uh, well uh, markets basically found support uh, uh, first time was in 1995 then once again uh, in 2004 and uh, well <coughs> we are we've now reached this level again uh, I am not quite comfortable uh, entering short a market that's already um, that's already found support twice off okay um, uh, you know it seems like well, like price has gone into a uh, equilibrium into a uh, balance at this level okay and, and the bulls came in place uh, at this level uh, twice already so <clears throat> I don't know. We might we might as well just preach through, okay? Uh, why not? And and make a new law for the last uh, well, the last 13 years actually. Uh, but nonetheless, I find it a little bit risky, okay? I'd rather wait for this level to give way and from there search for for uh, for new entries rather than uh, entering short before actually waiting to for that level to give way. All right. So <clears throat> as I always say, trading is uh, basically buying support and selling resistance. He said, if I enter short here, I will be uh, shorting uh, a support. Okay, I would be entering short uh, onto a support level, and, and I don't want that. Okay, um, I'm gonna wait for this level to uh, give way before searching for new short opportunities on the uh, Swissy. Um, all right, next up. 
I know that another chart that was giving me some uh, some con uh, you know some conflicting data, uh, some conflicting signals was the uh, Euro CHF. Okay, as you can see now my screen. If I scroll back, we can see probably a perfect downtrend in the scenario. Have a look at those moving averages. All right beautifully parallel okay they, they just cannot be any more parallel than that um, uh, clearly making lower lows all right uh, lo sorry lower highs lower lows uh, those moving averages nicely pointing down etc so you know same thing I thought perhaps I could I could try the breakout of this retracement channel okay into the downside uh, but then I zoomed out into my uh, into my weekly chart and have a look at what I'm seeing here Okay, oops, let me draw that properly. Have a look. Okay, we are bouncing onto um onto trend line. Uh, in fact, we ha we have already found uh, found uh, support at that trend line. You see that? Uh, so, you know, um, until that level gives way. In fact, we are actually in a, in a very nice uptrend as well as per my moving averages. All right, all of them nicely pointing up, uh, all of them parallel to each other. Uh, like I said, we have a trend there, actually some sort of a channel. Uh, you know, I, 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 I couldn't possibly look for new short opportunities until that trend line gives way, okay? Uh, it would be way too risky to enter short at this time because I would be entering short uh, onto support, okay? All right. Uh, next up, for example, let me show you the euro against the Canadian dollar. I know there are nice uptrends, okay? Um, with once again with those moving averages pointing up, parallel to each other, blah 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 blah. Uh, but then again, if we uh, if we zoom into the uh, into the weekly chart, what do we have? <clears throat> well, I'm gonna show you right now. One second. There we are. Well, what we have. Uh, first of all, price is banging on to form a support now working as resistance right there. And also we have the, uh, uh, oops, I messed that up, one second. If we draw some Fibonacci, we are banging right to the pip onto the 61% Fibonacci retracement. And also have a look at this trend line. Well, actually, it's a channel, but nonetheless, trend line. All right. So we have a Fibonacci previous swing low, trend line. Uh, way too much, um, uh, way too much of uh, of uh, resistance right above me. Uh, yeah, to well, to basically show uh, look for any any. Uh, um, any long entry on the shorter time frames in this case it was the hourly okay um, we we definitely have some heavy resistance right above there okay we, like I said with that trend line coming there with that previous swing low coming from from the weekly chart uh, former support now working as resistance sector etc so a number of different elements of support uh, sorry resistance above us and I don't feel like uh, entering uh, long onto resistance okay um, and finally the uh, the other setup that I was following today it was basically uh, a short on the uh, GBP against the Swiss franc uh, I was actually waiting uh, as London market opened uh, for a breakout to the downside of this overnight sideways range okay this overnight we are now looking into the one hour time frame by the way uh, I was basically looking to try the breakout of this retracement tr uh, <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, the breakout of this sideways range, okay, in the direction of the main trend. Uh, I was basically waiting for bang a breakout to the downside as London opened, but in fact, uh, what we've seen is a breakout to the upside, okay, and uh, and while well, basically making new highs for today, and uh, well. <coughs> At this time, it seemed like the uh, bears uh, just didn't have that much momentum left, at least for the time being. All right, London market definitely was showing uh, uh, an upward bias, an, up an upward move, and I wanted my trade plan was to enter short. Okay, remember, I was tra I was looking to try the breakout of this uh, channel to the downside. Uh, so since we broke to the upside, okay, I decided to stop searching for for any short uh, uh, possibility anymore. So basically, I've been I've been sitting on the sidelines today. I 
I couldn't find uh, many trading setups uh, due to those conflicting day uh, conflicting signals on the longer time frames and uh, well what can I say all in all um, you know I, I just like I said I just couldn't find those decent opportunities all right okay guys I'll be see you tomorrow bye bye